in oblivion is that? Sentries, what do you see? The RPG classic Skyrim has hit Nintendo Switch and represents an absolutely epic adventure. It can be a little overwhelming however, particularly if you're taking up the mantle of the Doverkin for the first time, so we've put together 10 crucial tips to help get you started. Skyrim on the Switch offers a unique Nintendo twist in that you can use any amiibo to spawn loot chests. And if you use a Zelda themed amiibo, you'll even have a chance to get Link's Tunic, the Master Sword or the Hylian Shield. You'll find the amiibo power skill to spawn the chests under the magic menu and then under powers. We're not going to stop you if you just want to run off into the distance after you leave the prologue, but if you're new, we suggest following the main storyline at least through the quests in the town of Whiterun. You'll eventually unlock your first shout here, recruit your first follower and you'll get an option to buy a small house in town. Once you have these basics in the bag, you'll be well prepared to face the rest of the world on your own. Skyrim doesn't care much for jacks of all trades, which means you shouldn't go around putting points in a wide variety of skill trees at the start. You can make playstyles as wild as a two-handed warrior with conjuration spells, but you'll want to stick with unlocking perks in the two-handed weapon and conjuration trees to get the most out of it. Simply use abilities consistently to level them. Otherwise, when enemies start getting tougher as you level, you'll find yourself ill-prepared to handle them. Following the road you see after the prologue will take you past the three guardian stones. Be sure to choose one. The rune stones give 20% XP bonuses for skills that are traditionally associated with warriors, mages and thieves. So if you want to level two-handed weapons, you want to choose the warrior stone. Other more interesting stones are scattered throughout Skyrim, but these stones are great for those crucial early levels. You can gain another 10% XP boost for eight in-game hours by sleeping in a bed at an inn. You'll still also get a 5% boost for using any old sleeping bag you find along the trail. Together with the Guardian Stones, that brings your XP bonus for some skills up to 30%. A word of caution though, quick travel simulates travel times as you jump, which means you could lose most or all of your boost within seconds in a particularly long journey. Skyrim lets you quick travel to name sites you've visited immediately after the prologue, but don't be so eager to use it all the time. Some of the best stories and views in Skyrim are found off the beaten path, and in spots you may not see if you're just zipping about. It also helps make you feel like you're living in a real world, which Skyrim still does well, several years after initial release. Life is brutal in Skyrim, which means you go from being a godlike Dovakin to a corpse within seconds. So save as often as possible. Fortunately, doing so merely involves a lightning fast two-step with the plus and A buttons that easily become second nature. You'll be grateful for it when that troll two-shots you, or you make a poor decision. <laughs> Followers don't have the best AI, and they're fond of triggering traps you avoided while sneaking, but that extra pair of hands can mean the difference between victory and defeat in tougher fights. So unless you're playing a sneaky assassin, bring one along. Perhaps most importantly of all, followers are great for storing extra loot when you inevitably run out of room. You might be tempted to spend your gold on better gear when first starting out, but take our advice and spend it only on potions and other consumables. You'll be chugging potions like a fiend on the harder difficulties, and that's where your money should go. You can also loot anything an NPC is wearing in Skyrim, which makes it easy to get quick upgrades. Player-built houses and houses for sale in town exist in Skyrim, but they're expensive or require long time commitments to quest chains. If you want a permanent place to sleep for free, join the Companions in Whiterun or the Mages College in Winterhold. The Mages College in particular comes with a wide assortment of cabinets, making it easy to store and categorize your junk, and freeing you up to get back out there and into the treacherous wilds. For more on Skyrim, check out IGN's Skyrim on Switch review and the first 16 minutes. Yeah.